everybody and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jason from Craig Family Livestock. Today guys, we're gonna be doing just a little bit of a different video. We are doing a video on a product review. Now, before I get too far into this video or start talking uh, too much on the product, I just wanna let you guys know that this is not a paid promotion. Uh, I'm, I'm getting nothing from talking about this product whatsoever. I just feel like it is a product that is worth discussing and bringing to the attention of, of more people. Uh, so hopefully this video strikes you in a different way. You learn more about this product. Consider purchasing it to help you, um, help you get your goals accomplished. Stay tuned and enjoy this video. So guys, in this video today, we are discussing Premier One's 4000 series clippers. At Craig Family Life Sack, as you probably are already aware, we do raise uh, club lambs that are going to be show animals or projects for 4-H FFA kids, uh, state fair projects for kids all out the country, uh, and of course within our state and, and county. Um, so the product we're discussing today is the 4000 series clippers uh, from Premier One. Now all the time I see on Facebook or we get questions, what kind of clippers do you have? What are the best clippers to buy? Or we see positive pros and cons, positive or negative on the different kinds of clippers. Um, and guys, just so you're aware, I have owned clippers, uh, Lister Stars, mm -hmm. Lister Legends, Osters. Um, and finally, we settled on the Premier One clippers. We've been using Premier One clippers now for probably I want to say the last five or six years um, and honestly nothing's ever stacked up to it so I've been really impressed with Premier One and their clippers uh, they're not too heavy um, they're not as light as say the Lister Stars they're not too loud uh, they're easy to handle and just the overall design of them I really found appealing and and I like that about it also with that being said um, Finding replacement parts for these clippers, extra blades, bolts, uh, springs, any of the internal stuff has been pretty easy to find. You can usually order off Premier One's website. But what has got me really excited is their 4000 series uh, cutter comb shearer head. Now in the past, I was under the impression that I'd have to purchase an entire 4000 series with the shear head attached. Well, that's another, you know, $350 to $400. Um, that's a lot of money to spend on another set of clippers. So I was looking around. We've ordered some shear cutter head combs um, from Amazon, you know, just some cheapies, like $100. And they do the job. They work for only a little while. They die off, burn up, and in the end, it's just not a real good investment. Well, with a little bit more research, uh, through Premier One, their YouTube channel, which go check them out on YouTube if you want to learn more about their products, Premier One Sheep Supplies. They have an interchangeable head with the 4000 series clippers that I already have. Now you may be asking, why do I need this if you're doing show lambs? Well, there's times, like right now, the lamb behind me, which I'm going to show you today, is shearing with the new cutter head. And guys, I've never used it before. It's the first time I've ever used it. We're gonna see how we like it and give a final product review on it. Um, but there's times like with this little ewe lamb behind me who's getting ready for a show and sale at the end of this month. Um, she's never been clipped. She still has her baby wool, inches of baby wool. Um, so that's five and a half months of baby wool on her that I'm, I gotta get ticked up or taken off. Um, and why I'm taking it off is I want to see what's underneath her. If there's anything I can do in terms of feed or supplements to get her looking what I think is good for the end of the month here in a couple of weeks. Um, it just makes it easier. You can wash and blow out, but with this cutter comb head, it's really not necessary. So it's a big time saver. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna get this show surgical head changed off and switch onto the comb cutter head. All right guys, so with some research uh, through Premier's One's YouTube videos and website, uh, like I said earlier, I was able to purchase a share head, which is, again, as you know now, interchangeable with the 4000 series clipper. And it's super duper simple, at least the way they made it in the video, seems super simple uh, to change these 
tear heads. All they require of you is a flathead screwdriver, and that's it. So as you can see here, not sure if you can see it. It is just two flathead bolts that are holding these in. So let's go ahead and take these out. Well, it was pretty simple getting them off. simple getting it on so let's go ahead and uh, plug in these clippers and see how they're running <laughs> sounds pretty good okay so now with these clippers obviously with the comb cutter heads on them we have to attach <laughs> your comb and cutter um, with that being said I also purchased some cutters with it or comb this is a nine tooth Apache comb. Uh, if you're not really uh, used to shearing <laughs> lambs, alpacas, or whatever you're shearing, I would definitely recommend not starting with a nine tooth. Um, maybe a 13 tooth or 20 tooth if it's really your first time starting out. Because these. If you get going and you're not real careful, these can definitely cause a uh, nice cut and skin of the sheep. So, same thing here. Just kind of unscrew the back of these clippers here to the point where the comb will slide down like that. With the comb, um, I actually purchased their ceramic comb, or I'm sorry, cutter head. And I saw a lot, a lot, a lot of good reviews on this. That it cuts better, it's not as sharp, um, it lasts longer. But the big downsides and negatives, cons, I guess, that we got from reading the reviews is obviously since it's ceramic, if you drop it, it's gonna break. And again, since it's ceramic, you can't send it back, which they have a sharpening service where you simply mail Pulling the cutter head in and then resharpen it, sent to you so you don't have to buy a whole new pair. Um, they can't sharpen it because, again, it's ceramic. I actually had to go back and watch the Premiere One's YouTube video on how to do it because I couldn't figure it out on my first try. Um, also some more bad news, it appears my ceramic cutter head doesn't work with this uh, shear head. For whatever reason, I just couldn't get the holes to line up and match up correctly. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or this one just doesn't fit with this, with this system and I didn't catch it, but I couldn't figure it out. Luckily enough, I had bought a separate metal comb that should work with this. So I got it attached, I got everything put together. Um, Pretty simple process. I know I had to look it up when I said that. But with that being said, the hardest part I'll have to say was figuring out how to get this little comb on um, because there's little points at the top of these prongs here and then holes down here where you have to kind of get the pegs to go into. Um, and I found that to be the most difficult thing. And then lastly, um, to get everything functioning correctly, we had to play with the tension knob here, and as well as tighten and untighten these uh, bolts back here in order to either move this comb up or down. So that way, both the cutter and the comb could move freely and in unison with one another. Let's see how it runs. You see it sounds, it runs good, it sounds good. Uh, we're gonna do now is apply a generous amount of oil. 
for its first time especially. And there is a little oil slot up here to Uh, Premier One also recommended um, to apply some a little bit along the tips and in the side of the shear. So that's what I did. Yes, my one takeaway from installing the comb and cutters would be to again go to their website, check it out, watch their videos on how they do it. Be very careful, make sure you're selecting the right combs and cutters for each other. And then also be sure that when you're running it uh, or before you run it, you adjust this comb to the proper height uh, so that way they can work simultaneously with each other. Also in the video I watched, she recommended that you may have to tighten up this tension or loosen the tension as you go, uh, depending on wear and tear from the comb and the cutter head. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. I got it rolled up. The sheep's been standing here good long enough Guys, right now we're gonna show you how it works and get going on this. Again, guys, my first time doing it. She's got pretty thick wool, not washed, not blown out. Let's put them to the test and see how they do. first impression with the clippers um as you can see when i first started it wasn't going too well i need to adjust a little bit it wasn't shearing quite as good as i thought it was so i took the advice of the video i seen on our premiere one's youtube channel and i simply adjusted the coma cutter the tension knob and i'm pretty sure now i got it uh clipping a lot better i'm gonna finish up the job real quick here take her in a show ring like this a cell ring like this this is simply a tool used to uh 
Sorry, she's freaking out a little bit. It was just her first time in a stand getting clipped, so usually it takes them a little bit, but she'll be just fine here. Um, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to be taking her in a sail ring or show ring like this. That's why we have the other uh, clipper head that we've been attached with a surgical or fine blade to take it much, much smaller or thinner and uh, get her looking a lot prettier for the sail and show ring. Pulls the wool off just fine, even if it has dirt and shavings or what else in it. Slice it off. Guys, it's a product I definitely would recommend if you've got a small herd of sheep, fiber goats, or alpacas. Um, or if you're like me and you're involved in the show industry whatsoever. Um, it's definitely a product that might be worth looking into um, for having with your Premier One 4000 series. Other clipper head where, you, where you're clipping for show stuff. Again, we do hire uh, out for sharing our U-Base. Just because we have too many to do it, it's it's much more worthwhile and effective for us to hire somebody to come do it. Um, but in a case like this, where we have a lamb that has a bunch of baby wool on, we just want to knock it off to see what we're working with. Definitely a great product, guys. Check it out. Go to Premier One's website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Asking me on my opinion on on cheers, I definitely recommend the Premier One clippers. Whether you're clipping alpacas, fiber goats, cattle sheep you got a big herd small herd for show or not they're the best clippers i found on the market thank you for tuning in for me today um i think it was a success i like to order before i let you guys go if you order one or the other it's about 380 bucks for each clipper the separate head itself is 153 dollars, i believe so if you're like me you're going to be using both sets of clippers Definitely a good investment on your end to buy the separate clipper head. You're saving much more money instead of going out and buying a whole separate pair of clippers. Guys, before I forget and let you leave here, if you found any part of this video informational, educational, helpful, interesting, entertaining, or all of the above, I definitely encourage you to give it a thumbs up or share the video. Help push that video out there for others to see. And of course, if you like our content and you want to see what we've got next, please subscribe to our channel. As always, if you want to learn more about myself or our farm, please visit www.craigfamilylivestock.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Craig Family Livestock. And I'll see you next time. Take care.